Hey guys, how you doing? Hopefully you're doing okay. What are we doing in this video? Well, I think we're going to watch one video. I say it, I think, because I really don't know. I really don't know. Maybe this video will go on for 10 minutes. Maybe it will go on for two hours. I'm really not sure. Um, I don't think it's going to go on for two hours, but we shall see. And um, I think it's quite possible that I might, might make a few videos in regards to this character that you see in front of you. His name is Save Robbie gather around and um so they give you a bit of an intro as to who save robbie is i probably don't need to because you're only watching this video because you've done a hashtag search for him perhaps you're one of my couple of hundred of subscribers most of which have come about since i mo uh, made some krama based videos welcome back if you're included amongst those um so you probably do know who save robbie is perhaps you're a fan of his, if so, commiserations. Perhaps you're an ex-fan of his. Perhaps you're once a cult member and have since broken free, in which case, congratulations. Um, perhaps you realize this guy is an utter danger to himself and others, an utter fool. And you're, like me, a bit of a hate watcher. Um, yeah, a bit of a hate watcher. I mean, that's just a term, just words, aren't they? Uh, just words, just a, a label. What does it mean? It basically means, look, I don't watch this guy because I admire this guy. God, no. I watch this guy because I am shocked with his thinking, his personality, his behavior. I said shocked. And that's accurate. I also should say disgusted. Disgusted more so than shocked. And I guess it's fair to say that the shock withers after a while when you see somebody's behavior continue. You know, where when it reoccurs time and time again, what once was shocking becomes to be expected at a certain point. Now, having said that, allow me to contradict myself once more. I watched a video that Save Robbie, our good friend, made uh, just two or three days ago, August the 31st, 2022, and I was quite astonished. Now, I've only watched it once, and that was a couple of days ago. I was quite astonished. I was thinking to myself, I might make a video on this. I've made a few reaction videos. I wouldn't mind making some reaction videos. In fact, I'd like to have a YouTube channel actually it doesn't even need to be on youtube but i would like to have a forum online where i can have fun and uh, i do find that waffling uh, is quite fun and um, talking about topics that i find of interest for one reason or another is quite fun even if it is a bit self-indulgent so i would like to be able to do that and maybe i'll be able to do that on this channel and what to clarify what i mean uh, maybe i'll be able to figure out a way to have some fun on this channel now i think making this video might be some type of fun it may not be may not be because it's um pretty emotional should i give you a trigger warning it's pretty emotional and i'm gonna be i don't know i'm probably gonna be pretty facetious uh, no doubt but uh, I'm, i might be fairly balanced but we'll, we'll see i've not watched the video for a couple of days that's a bit of an intro from me you're aware of this scumbag aren't you we know that he's a serial real lifer. He's admitted to that. And then he withdrew his admission. Robbie, we're adults. You know, we have brains. We know that you're a serial real lifer. You've gone real life on AJ. You've gone real life on Space Monster. You've attacked MRB's son deceased son apologies for mentioning that mrb um you've gone after this person that person you attack people constantly for their looks for their lack of self-esteem for any reason you care you've gone after me didn't really work out for you but you tried you go after my good buddy captain kangaroo how fucking dare you buddy you know fuck you we're gonna get you no, we're not going to get you. We're just going to analyze a little bit of your work, a little bit of your artistry. We're going to have a look at it. We're going to try to figure you out. We're going to make some judgment calls. And let's start now and we shall watch this video, which was posted 
uh, August 31st. Melissa Jade, do your research. Let's watch. Oh no, oh look, the video's been taken down. Why was that, Robbie? Why was that? Why would you take the video down? Oh no, here I was planning to do a reaction video and I can't because you've taken the video down. Oh no, what can we do? <sighs> well, we can do a little bit of magic. So I saved the video. Thank you very much. Let's play and we'll see how we go. This is last minute. And first off, let me start off by saying, do not send me shit anymore. I'm going to start blocking you. I don't care if you're a fucking... I don't care how close you are. Stop sending me shit. The first thing I do is I go over and I click on Melissa Jade's stream, which number one, Melissa Jade, you clearly repeated yourself over and over in your live stream. And you said, I know nothing about Portland archives. I know nothing about what's going on. Then why the fuck are you doing a whole live stream about it? Okay, who's Melissa Jade? I don't know. Somebody on YouTube within the Krama community. Are they a good person? No idea. I'm guessing that they are, but that's a bit of a foolish guess, really, isn't it? I mean, all of these people on or within the Krama community, they're all riddled with issues. Tell me one person who isn't. You know what? I'm probably exaggerating to a minor extent, but overall overwhelmingly your characters within this so-called crime community are hideous people again i do not know melissa jade in the least never watched any of her videos not for a single second but you know i wouldn't put too much faith in her so what's robbie complaining about her repeating herself well don't isn't that what everyone fucking does say robbie you go about this go on about the same subjects all the time you repeat all the things all the time. You attack people for the same reason. You do your real life thing. Then you, you know, you claim people are attacking your sobriety. People are attacking you in this way and that way. Oh, people are mean for making videos about you. Oh, people keep hashtagging your name and trying to build a YouTube career out of you. You know, come on, buddy. We've heard it all a thousand times. You repeat yourself ad nauseum. Nice little word, yeah phrase rather a bit of latin anyway so who's melissa j don't really know but robbie's got a bit of a beef with her because apparently she repeats herself and apparently that's like really bad and worth making videos about let's carry on and then country joe <gasps> comes up and what does she do don't know she puts my name in her filthy <gasps> mouth yet again no Yet again. Oh, no, that's oh, not Oh, I right. want to know what Robbie thinks about Mrs. Portland. It's in, it's in, it's in. I'll tell you exactly what the fuck I think about it. First of all, let me start off by saying to my mom, stop. All right. So I don't know what happened there. He's bitching about Melissa Jade. And then he bitches about Country Joe. And then within, I'm going to say within 10 seconds, I mean, 10, 12, 15 seconds, he starts bitching about his mom. You know, talk about escalation, talking about lack of focus. Robbie, pick a target, stick with your target, make a point, try to make a good one. You don't need to make childish noises like you just did. I'm, I'm not going to lure myself to try to mimic the noises you made. I'm not a child. I'm an adult. Sure, I'm a bit, a bit facetious, trying to have a bit of a laugh, trying to make fun of you and your ridiculousness. I'm not going to lure myself to your childish ways but anyway back to the video what the fuck is he going on about now his mother country joe only warranted 10 seconds of coverage apparently calling my phone you are blocked on my phone i want nothing to do with you so you can sit there and threaten to my aunt oh i'm gonna get a restraining order on him good try it because you will lose i have an amazing lawyer i have proof that you would not stop calling me the other night Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. I have removed your ability to use my account, my credit card information, and me pay for you to have membership to people's channels and use my card. You All right, I might just rewind and perhaps we'll listen to that in a little bit again. I'll just make a couple of comments here. I'm going to say... Uh, express a bit of an opinion um you may agree with me you may not it's up to you don't really care but what's he doing here well he's publicly attacking 
his mother. Uh, that's what he's doing, publicly attacking his mother. Attacking, is that the right word? Mm, arguably yes, arguably no. I mean, he's expressing harsh sentiments towards his mother. So, you know, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, cement the word attacking. It's kind of appropriate and perhaps arguably kind of not fully appropriate, but somewhat appropriate. So let's just stick with it with that understanding he's publicly attacking his mother now i don't know anything about his relationship with his mother i dare say nor do you or rather nothing significant and let me say categorically nor should we it's none of our fucking business it's none of our fucking business why the fuck are we being told about what's going on in save robbie's private life his relationships with these other people now this is something that he does regularly he's talked about his uh, personal relationships with any character he chooses and often this includes close friends of his so-called close friends mexi springs to mind now oh, i'm sorry i'll apologize to an extent for repeating this but in essence mexi was save robbie's in real life, long-term friend. They were friend for decades, if I recall correctly. What did Save Robbie do? Well, he leaked the fact, well, the, yeah, alleged fact, uh, let's go with that, that Mexi had been having an affair. Uh, he was, he's a married man. He was having a, an affair. That went public. That went public. I'm repeating the word public, and I'm going to continue to repeat the word public. Why am I doing that? Because that's where things get wrong now in my mind i don't have an issue with robbie having an issue with his mother or his father or his sibling or whomever else none of my fucking business none of your business um uh, should we respect our elders i mean to me in my opinion no not necessarily i mean not if they're not being respectful to you you know as an individual if they're being respectful sure respect your elders is a good starting point but, you know, not all relationships are that smooth, are they? So, you know, situations are different. And in my mind, and this is a subject I've researched to quite some extent, in my mind, it is perfectly fair and reasonable for a grown adult or indeed a child uh, to be angry with their parent, to choose to end a relationship with their parent or sibling or such. It is reasonable. So I would not blame, save Robbie, for choosing to do that however doing so publicly uh, i'm gonna stick with the word attacking for now but attacking his mother publicly like why why would you do that because he's a moron I'm, yeah per perhaps i shouldn't say the word moron it's better than the r word as some would say um but it's you know it, it's not coming from a place of a mature adult say robbie here's what a mature adult would do mom I'm going to have a private conversation with you and we're going to talk about this and I'm going to express my view and I'm going to tell you my conclusion. There you go. We're not doing it publicly because it's no one's fucking business. So what Save Robbie has done here is he's, he's made his personal relationships public and in so doing, he's made the personal relationships of other people that he's close with public, you know. Did your mother, did Joan want this to be public did she want her son to publicly drag her through the mud on these youtube streets or however you fucking describe this situation no she didn't you know i don't know too much about joan i used to chat with her in uh, a live stream or two i used to be extremely friendly with her and uh, she reciprocated to some extent i kind of withered and died these things do but ultimately, I don't know too much about her. Maybe she is as bad as Robbie feels. I don't know. Who knows? But um, it's a little bit unfair, uncool for, completely unnecessary, unhealthy to bring her up, to drag her through these YouTube streets. For what, save Robbie? For what? Why are you doing that? Like, what are you hoping to gain? Really, you're that desperate for content that you have to resort to that? Or is it, perhaps... That you just lack self-control. That you're just too impulsive. And, you know, please don't feel that that's some kind of compliment or some kind of badge of honor. It really isn't. It's a lack of maturity. 
By the way, I'm immature as fuck. But, you know, not on the same level as, say, Robbie, thank you. Anyway, uh, thankfully, let's uh, carry on. We're mid Robbie attacking his mother. People's channels and use my card. You are not going to use my information. Go get your own account. So there's that. As far as what do I think about what Mrs. Portland said today? Huh, let's think about this for a minute. These people are over there. You have fucking chain smoking Holly over there on Melissa's uh pick. So like he's he's dispensed with attacking with his mother. It wasn't that long, mom. It wasn't that bad, mom. I only attacked you publicly for what less than a minute. Then I moved on to Mrs. Portland. Not sure if that's an attack or not, it's unclear. Then I start mentioning Holly within two or three seconds. Again, save Robbie. Choose a fucking target. Stick with your target. Make a point. Make a good point. All you're doing is crying like a child. That's all it is. You're just lashing out. Your arms, metaphorically, are wailing. And why do people watch this? Why have you had supporters for such a length of time? Okay, they've withered. They've gone away. You've lost your close ones. I'll, I'll rattle off a few names. I mean, perhaps I shouldn't. Perhaps I ought to apologize, but I'm going to. I'm going to rattle off a few names. Nicole. I used to watch Nicole. Nicole used to do live streams. I used to admire Nicole. I used to like Nicole. I used to uh, enjoy her company, but I don't know. At a certain point, it's like, how the fuck can a grown adult stick with following this guy admiring this guy loving this guy supporting this guy after trial after trial he attacks this person he goes in real life on that person he admits to it he um uh moves i don't, can't think of the right word but he gives personal information of the likes of bx beast boy uh, aj's um son to other people you know, he was caught out in the whole Dorothy uh, scandal with Jessica K, Jess with a K, and uh, he was caught out prior to that with Molly Go Lightly. How did the Glara get BX Beast Boy's personal details, Robbie? How did that happen? Hmm? I don't know, man. Like, it's just so blatantly obvious that this guy is a scumbag, has been a scumbag. Yeah, sure, you're going to try to whatever the correct word is, rehabilitate this weirdo. It's not going to work, Lokomai. It's just not going to work. <clears throat> you know, and there are others. You know, Amy, I don't really know Amy. I've just heard that she is a bad, bad girl, that she's a doctor, and in real life, you have your little Discord parties where you exchange your information, a la Scardi, a la Lycan, your other... Or your only good buddy at the moment. You know. Lufa. She's been and gone hasn't she? She was a, a regular of yours. Loved you. Oh wow you're so wonderful. Not true at the moment is it? Save Robbie. Uh, your friends. Your close friends seem to disappear on a regular. Regularly. They disappear regularly. You were friends with AJ weren't you? I mean, you were. Let's just face it. You were friends with AJ. You were friends with Space Monster. Um, what happened there? Well, they all got burned by you, didn't they? And then you, then you ta attacked them as you're attacking your mother, as you're attacking Melissa Jade, as you're attacking whomever else you're attacking. Let's have a look to see whomever else you are attacking. I think it was Robbie. Go get a fucking man, Holly. Because your hobby is talking shit to people. And every time a man, do you notice every time Holly, every time a man comes up, she gets so angry. Go get some dick, Holly. I doubt you fucking can. Go get some fucking dick. I don't know. I just find this so childish. Go get laid. I mean, fucking hell. Are we in high school? This guy's in his 40s, isn't he? Go get laid. Go and have sex. I mean, come on. Dude, who the fuck? And just look at his um, avatar. Who does that? I'm not talking about his haircut, his ridiculous haircut. I'm just, you know, the the grimace, this whatever that is. Who does that? This is a grown man. It's unbelievable. But let's carry on. 
don't know who Holly is, by the way. I've got no idea if she um, does need to get some dick or if I would uh, concur with Robbie's advice. I don't know. And Melissa, put down your fucking tripod and go get some dick yourself. You guys sit there and you think it's fucking okay. And by the way, Space Monster, I hope you fucking... All right. Two and a half minutes in. So look, what have we had? We've had attacks on Melissa Jade. Um, who else? Oh, there have been other people. Holly. They both need to get some dick, apparently. Now we're moving on to Space Monster. We've done his mum. Um, Mrs. Portland was mentioned briefly. I don't know if that was attack or not. I think there's more. There's at least four. At least four people within two and a half minutes. Well, let's uh, see what Save Robbie has to say about Space Monster. By the way, Space Monster has a nice channel. Space Monster 61, I think it is. She does some live streams. Uh, she's trying to have conversations with people. And really, that's what people should be doing. Trying to have conversations. Um, so I applaud Space Monster in that regard. Um, and Space Monster is one of Save Robbie's victims. Uh, Space Monster, her sister was contacted by Save Robbie uh, via, you know, Facebook. I think, I think, and apologies, Space Monster, for mentioning this. Uh, um, I do so respectfully, as I'm sure you understand. But I, I think I'm right in saying that Save Robbie was so classless and despicable that he posted Space Monster's deceased sister's photos. Um, you know, just terrible, terrible things. And he's he's done that in the past. He well, previously he uh, has tried to dig into the personal details of Mommy Rambling's deceased son. And in another video that I might make a video of uh, tonight or tomorrow or such, um, he attacks somebody else's. Uh, so someone else's mother is severely ill, perhaps terminally ill. I don't know the details. And what does he do? He attacks her, you know. This is a despicable person. Now, is this because he's going through a hard time right now? No, well, not really. No, he's he's been this despicable for quite some time. Uh, I, I was introduced to Save Robbie at the point that he was attacking AJ uh, mercilessly. Mercilessly, Mercis, Mercis I can't say it properly, sorry. Um, anyway, let's pick up with the space monster attacks. And talk about this, you stupid fucking cunt. Oh, she's a cunt. Nobody gives a fuck about your purge, space monster. Go fucking get wasted. I don't give a fuck what you think. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. How come Melissa Jade, is that her name? Melissa Jade needs dick. Holly needs dick, but what? Space Monster doesn't? What's going on there? I put up with no one's fucking bullshit. Again, whether you're my mom, my grandma, whoever the fuck you are. Okay. I don't know if you noticed, but he's uh, started shouting quite loudly now. And uh, he's also mentioned his grandma in this rant. At the point that he uh, raises his voice. Is that a telltale sign? Robbie, what's going on with your grandma? What did your grandma do to you, Robbie? Robbie, what happened with your grandma? Hmm? Were you grandfather? Hmm? What happened there, Robbie? Anything you'd like to share? So what the fuck do I think about Mrs. Portland saying, Oh my God, you never go that low and talk about someone losing somebody. Listen up, you fucking bitches. Loud and fucking clear! I am trying not to laugh. Loud and fucking Clia. This is... I'm not allowed to say what I'm about to say. This is a gay man's voice changing in front of us. That is not the same voice that he normally uses. He's using a different voice. That's a different voice. Let's replay that. Fucking bitches. Loud and fucking Clia! Would you sit there? And you fucking dedicate an entire goddamn channel dragging somebody over and over and over talking about their fucking custody, talking about their mental state of being, dedicating a whole fucking channel. Say, Robbie, let me remind you how many, well, let me ask you, how many videos did you make about AJ? Like, how many? Dozens over a period of months? 
dozens over a period of months. And who else have you attacked? Dozens. How many people have you attacked in this video? Or at least half a dozen at this point. You know, you're going in this over-emotional rant. Seemingly you're white knighting for Mrs. Portland, if I understand correctly. Because people are attack her, seemingly. And this is something that which is getting you so emotional. Why is that asked? Because you're such a nice fella. You're not a nice fella, say Robbie. We don't believe you. You've just attacked half a dozen people or more in an extremely childish way. You're not a nice person. You can try to pretend you are, but only foolish idiots, frankly, are going to believe you. About Mrs. Portland, a whole fucking channel. You fucking think that's okay every fucking day to push somebody's buttons that's mentally unstable? You fucking think that's okay? It's what you've done, say Robbie. That's what you've done. You, for a period of time, were making videos daily about AJ hour long videos dragging sessions about AJ day after day for quite a period of time you were cajoling is that a good word cajoling your audience to support you in your attacks justified or not whichever you choose you pick I'm not judging on that at this point but you were choosing to attack her day after day for quite some time, encouraging her audience to support you all the way through, you know. So you criticizing others for doing the same or similar. I don't know, mate. I mean, you're, you're entitled to do that. You're entitled to be a hypocrite. Nothing wrong. Yeah, nothing too unusual about that. It's not ideal, but nothing too unusual about being a hypocrite. We are humans. We're prone to such things. But why inject this level of emotion? You know, why do that? I mean, probably for dramatics, probably for histrionics, probably to create some attention for yourself. Be that in YouTube, be that from your boyfriend, your fiance, be that from yourself so that you can go cry in a corner and think about how hard done by you are, you know. But yeah, it's probably for attention, isn't it? One way or another. Kind of lost my train of thought, but uh, let's pick up mid rant. You stupid fucking dickless bitches. The dickless bitches thing. What is that? Is that a misogynist statement? Is that saying, hey, women, you don't have penises, thereby you're lesser than men? Is that what that is? Th that's how I'm taking it. Um. I can't think of any other reason to call somebody dickless. I, I don't know. You miserable fucking cunts. Every fucking day. You name a fucking channel after Mrs. Portland. You talk about her parenting. You do all that shit. But when she hurts your fucking feelings and talks about, oh, she lost this or that. Good for her. That's what I fucking... Good for her. Look, I don't follow Mrs. Portland. I've seen a couple of videos here and there, clips of her. Um, I've got to shout out Kramatown. She does really good. Uh, well, I say she. I presume it's a she. Um, or actually, it seems to be a group or, you know, at least one person involved. Kramatown, a very good uh, clip channel, as far as I can see. Relatively new. Go sub to them. And also, I've got to shout out Captain, of course. Captain Kangaroo, our good friend. Um, and... I can't remember where I've seen this, but very recently, Mrs. Portland has been attacking somebody, another content creator within the Kramer community, uh, th their deceased child. They, they've lost a child. And Mrs. Portland sees fit to make mention of such things in a derogatory way to hurt somebody's feelings. So these are not nice people. These are awful, awful people. And this is just one example, which I intend uh, to remain on YouTube, of course, I'm going to get copyright strikes from Save Robbie, uh, from Mr. Brown himself. He's going to do a copyright strike, uh, and that's fine. I will get attacked by the likes of, well, the scumbags, the likes of Scardy and um, Lycan Legion and whomever else is on Robbie's side that uh, likes to d delve and do the whole in real life thing. 
I'm thinking there's not quite as many as there used to be. Yeah, you know, you, they, they've dropped off. I think nobody really wants to support Save Robbie anymore. Pretty much, that's the feeling I'm getting. And perhaps, I'll say perhaps, I would say yes, he realises that. He realises that it takes him nearly three months to get 100 subs. I mean, that's not great. Is it better than my channel? Sure. But uh, it's not great for somebody who dedicates so much of his life uh, to such a venture. Of course, he'll turn around and say, oh, I do it for all of the friends, you know. What friends, Save Robbie? The friends that you then go on to attack, those friends? Let's get back to the video. Say, stand up to your bullies. And if you fucking hurt their feelings because they've been poking at you and poking at you and poking at you, more fucking power to you. I'm glad you said that, Save Robbie, because you have, along with your uh, good buddy, your only buddy, pretty much, Siren Jack, you have attempted to bully me. So in some way, this is retaliation. In some way, this is me standing up to my bully, you, Save Robbie. Um, so yeah, I'm glad you support these actions. I know it's not going to stop you from doing the whole copyright thing. I know it's not going to stop you from trying to get bad information on me, get some dirt about me. You're not going to get any. Try, can carry on trying. You won't get any. But you might, but whatever. These fucking cunts can sit there all day and judge people's actions, but they have no fucking idea what it's like to be dragged every goddamn fucking day. Well, Robbie, why are you dragged every goddamn day? Yeah, why, why is that occurring? Um, you know, other people aren't dragged every goddamn day. AJ was, for a while, by yourself. So why are you getting targeted? Could it perhaps have something to do with the fact that over the course of years, time and time again, you go and attack many, many people within the community? You try to intimidate them. You try to bully. Could that have anything to do with it, Robbie? Hmm... I would think, yes, yes, that's the reason. You are a nasty piece of work. People get sick of it. You go and attack people. Some people will re retaliate at some points. Now, I was somewhat reluctant to retaliate, you know. Should I make a video on this? Do I want my channel to be about this? Is it going to be overly mean if I was to uh, make a reaction video about this guy having a complete fucking meltdown? Is this video going to be too boring, quite possibly? Um, is this video going to get me in trouble am i going to be doxxed because of it but you know fuck it let's, let's do it anyway so that's what the fuck i think about it and here's what i think about the information mrs portland has whatever information you have mrs portland you go fucking legal on this cunt because she sits there and you have asked her to leave you alone repeatedly. And she is fucking harassing a mentally disabled woman, poking her buttons. And Miss, Mrs. Portland has been crying. And what does she do? What does this archives bitch do? She sits there and she fucking says, oh, she's scamming. She says, mind your own goddamn fucking business. Mind your own business. So when you get your feelings hurt... Mind your business. I mean, this isn't your business, is it, Save Robbie? This is between, if I understand correctly, Mrs. Portland and Mrs. Portland's archive, something like that. You know, it's not your business. So why are you getting all overexcited about it? Why are you getting all over-emotional about it? Again, is it because you're desperate for content? Is it because you're desperate for attention? Is it because you lack self-control? Is it for all of the above reasons? Oh, did you get your feelings hurt because somebody talked about addictions or whatever? Look, here he is. Oh, did you get your feelings hurt? You know, he's patronizing. He's, he's, you know, he's calling someone a snowflake. Bitch, you're the one fucking crying. Are you like, where is the self-awareness? This is just, this is what I get. I, I watch these karma people, right? And they are so low IQ, it is weird and um they just lack self-awareness the hypocrisy is nuts here he is complaining about something he's guilty of in the actual moment but anyway let's carry on listening listen bitches you guys sit there and you were in a chat the other day in country joe's talking about oh robbie shouldn't mix this with that 
Leave that shit up to my doctor, you fucking ugly bitch. Yeah. Look, he's just called someone an ugly bitch. I mean, he's called several other people C words. He's said that uh, Melissa Jade and Holly need to get some dick. Strangely, such advice wasn't given to Space Monster or Country Joe. Don't know why. Don't ask me. But why is he calling Country Joe an ugly bitch? I don't like Country Joe. I think, well, I know that. Um, yeah, let's rewind that a little bit. Uh, well, I know that Country Joe isn't in real life. Uh, I've made a video on that. She uh, says that she's going to go in real life on somebody. She since took down the video, I believe. So I know that she's an in real lifer. That to me is categorical fact that she's a scumbag. Now, it is strongly insinuated by multiple people that Country Joe is a scam artist and has scammed multiple people, indeed multiple communities, uh, over the course of years. Now, I don't know that to be fact 100%, but I, uh, I, I expect it largely is. I mean, that's my personal opinion. I would personally speculate that there's a great deal of truth in her scammery. But absolutely, Country Joe is uh, someone that I view as a scumbag on her in real life actions alone, which I have documented. Thank you very much. Um, so I'm not here to white knight for Country Joe. I think she's weird and a scam artist, a scumbag and all of these things. But why are you calling her ugly? I mean, why are you doing that? Again, it's just so unfair and high schoolish. Attack her for her character. You know, if you if you must attack her, attack her for her character or lack thereof. Attack her for her behavior, her bad behavior. You know, there's plenty to attack. As I said, she's an in real lifer. You know, there's evidence of that. I've made a video on that. Other people have, I'm sure. The info is out there. Attack her for her scam artistry, you know. Attack her for something of substance. Should you feel the need to attack her? To attack her for her appearance? I mean, why? Why do that? It's just so childish. I would refrain from doing that myself. Anyhow, let's carry on. Go have a fucking donut! country joe that go have a fucking donut what does that mean well it's a jab it's supposed to be humor it's so-called american humor which is akin to not very humorous by and large go have a donut yeah he's saying country joe you're fat yeah country joe you're overweight that's what he's saying look buddy plenty of people including myself are overweight you know it's like a thing in the modern world it's just is it's not a good thing not everybody's overweight but what 50 percent, 60 percent are in the western in western nations it just is you know why is that our sedentary lifestyle our um are the food that we buy in our supermarkets on our limited disposable incomes there are reasons for it country joe if we're to say that she's overweight she is not the only person to be overweight, save Robbie. It's just a fact of life. You know, it's not something to make fun of. Again, we're not children here. We're adults. And again, I have to question why people support this guy. We know that he does this kind of thing constantly. Attack people on their looks, for their weight, for their deceased family members. He does all of these extremely childish, extremely distasteful things. Yet, he still has his supporters. Now... I'm mentioning his supporters a few times. Does that is that because I'm jealous? Well, no, say Robbie. It's not because I'm jealous. I could give you know what what would I be jealous about? You know, there's nothing to be jealous about. I'm certainly not jealous of your hairstyle. Let's let's get that one straight, Robbie. Um, no, it's not jealousy. It's it's disgust. That's where it's coming from. I'm disgusted by um, the support you get. It's just it shows to me. The lack of character from your supporters. And I would love to hear from your supporters. Honestly. I would love for there to be a panel. On someone's channel or not. Or other, you know someone or other. If they were to have a panel. A StreamYard panel or such. And bring up perhaps some current supporters of Save Robbie. And some previous supporters of Save Robbie. Now th there is another video. Which I may make a reaction video on. I know this has been extremely long and boring. But I might do another one. And uh, there is this other character, Tia. And, oh my God, she is weird AF. Um, 
But I would like to ask the likes of Lufa, hey Lufa, um, what the fuck? What the fuck? What, what the heck were you thinking? Um, you know, you used to love this guy. You used to say how wonderful this guy is. You're aware of his bad actions, yet you still supported him. What the fuck? Nicole, you seem like a nice person. You seem like a, a, a lovely young lady, you know, setting out on their life. Um, why would you support this weirdo? Why would you do that? You know, there, there are plenty of other people, some of which I interact with quite a lot, some of which I respect and like. Um, but to me, I don't know, it, it, it does bother me to some extent for really anybody to support someone like, say, Robbie, who has exposed his behavior, his character so many times over such a long period of time. There's no excuse for it. Um, it, it it's something which, in my opinion, should not be supported, tolerated, or anything along those lines. Anyway, let's go back to the video. Here's my argument to you. Oh, you don't have anything else to say? But talk about my looks? That's because you're miserable country, Joe. You're fucking miserable. Yeah, you're miserable country, Joe, he says, whilst his voice is wavering with emotion. So, yeah, I will fucking talk about you. Leave my fucking name out of your mouth, bitch. I mean, this is, again, this is the crazy. So, yeah, I will talk about you. Leave your name out of your, leave my name out of your name. Uh, uh, hang on, I just didn't get that right. I will talk about you, but you can't talk about me. I mean, what the fuck, say, Robbie? What What is that? Is that delusions of grandeur? You think you're in a position to di dictate to others, to order other people around? Is that what you think? You think people ought to, what, put you on a pedestal? Why? Why on earth would you think that? You're absolutely insane, save Robbie. You need to go, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, I'm extremely humble, in my opinion, you need to go to a psychologist, a psychiatrist, any, anyone, or any group. Go to a whole fucking committee of them, yeah? Okay, I'll spell it out. Go to an institution, all right? That's what you need to do. You are beyond redemption. You are beyond rehabilitation. But for the safety of others, and I mean that, I say that genuinely. I know it's a harsh thing to say, but for the safety of others, that's what you need to do. Okay, am I being overly mean there? Well, let me remind you that this weirdo chased a woman in his car. He ran, you know, he drove after her at speed. They slammed the cut the brakes on, and uh, he threatened to run directly into the woman while she was carrying her baby or her child, a two-year-old or something. Is what I've just said a hundred percent correct? Probably not. It's probably it's probably about ninety-seven point five percent correct. But basically, that's what he did. He threatened to kill a woman and uh, her child. That's this lunatic right here. He is a danger to others. I don't give a, give a fuck about him being a danger to himself. Fuck you! And Melissa Jade, did you not have, was your tripod not working tonight, bitch? Did you, did, you had to go live about this in Portland when you don't know shit about it? I mean, she's allowed to, isn't she? What What's wrong with Melissa Jade going live? Is she not allowed to do that? Does she have to ask your permission, say, Robbie? Well, is there something wrong with her using a tripod? Is there something wrong with her chosen topic? I mean, what does she have to do? Does she have to submit everything she wants to do to you for approval? What the fuck? Again, what is this? Delusions of grandeur? It's just utter craziness, whatever it is. Leave my fucking name out of your mouth. I'm going through a goddamn fucking hard time right now. Oh no, boo hoo. You know, I mean, what a minute ago, two minutes ago, I know that I've been waffling for far too long. But wasn't he just complaining about someone else getting upset about this or that, you know? And here he is crying that he's going through a hard time. Melissa Jade, get Save Robbie's name out of your mouth. Here he is saying that you need to get some dick. Also, Holly does. Country Joe Space Monster, apparently they don't. But you need to get some dick, Melissa Jade. She, he can slag you off about your use of a tripod and whatever else, but you're not allowed to talk about him or Mrs. Portland. I don't know. What does he... I mean, it, he's acting as if he's a teacher, a school teacher, 
and you are the child, you're the pupil. Uh, you are there to listen to his demands. You must adhere to him. He is the boss. He must control you. He views himself as an overlord. Because I can't even trust my own fucking mom. Leave me in fucking peace, at least for a goddamn fucking week. Fuck you! All right, guys, look, uh, here's one little tip for everybody out there. If you're getting bothered by your social media activities, well, then perhaps that's a bit of an indication that you ought to step away from your social media activities, perhaps from a, perhaps for an elongated period of time. And by the way, ladies and gentlemen, you are able to turn your phones off. You are able to uninstall apps that you get overly engrossed in you are able to step away from this community that community this person that person you can block people in each and every last social media platform okay say robbie you're fully aware of this you're acting as if you're not aware of this you're acting as if there's some grand conspiracy against you there really isn't you go and attack people uh, your friends attack people and some people comment on those things it's to be expected now just because you're a child some weird mentally emotionally disabled twat um you know i don't know it just doesn't give you the right to expect others to adhere to your ridiculous demands Oh, look, and there it is. It's finished. So that's that's a relief. That only took 46 minutes. So I'm going to wrap things up there. Has this been worthwhile in the least? It's been a lot longer than I expected, um, but I've kind of enjoyed doing it. Kind of enjoyed doing it. I'm going to make, um, I might make a couple more videos about Save Robbie. I really don't like this guy. I really don't. He is a piece of shit. And he's annoyed me. And uh, I want to express myself on YouTube. I want to express myself in regards to some ch uh, topics that um, are perhaps fun in some ways. This hasn't really been fun. Uh, I mean, I do try to be funny, but haven't really been able to manage it during this video. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm bored, I'm lonely, wanted to wrap it on for a minute or two, or 46 minutes or so. So anyway, there we go. Like, comment, subscribe, stick around, give me some encouragement, maybe I'll make some more videos. And if you don't like this, then go away, boo-hoo.